In this video, we're going to look at the significance of this value RC. We saw it show up a couple times in the previous one, so let's take a look and see what it actually means. We saw before the expression uh, that we used when we got these R this RC value was for charge. The charge on a capacitor was given by the voltage times the capacitance times this quantity 1 minus e to the minus t over RC. You see this value of RC show up here. Similar, if for the current, we see that the current is given by V0 over R, again, uh, times the quantity E minus T, E to the minus T over RC. Again, this RC shows up. And actually, if we notice in both equations, this value of E to the minus T over RC shows up in, in both cases. We notice, in general, this could be written as E to the minus T over tau. And what we're going to call tau is our characteristic time. If this quantity up here is a length, then we would have a characteristic length. Um, but really, they have the same general purpose. And this characteristic time, tau, in our case, is rc. We set this value. This is what we call tau. And what this characteristic time tells us is when does this value of, when do we fall to a value of e to the minus 1, or 1 over e? Or when do we fall to a value of 0.37? That sounds a little bit confusing, but if we look at it a different way, we can see that if we start with a quantity, such as current, when does that current fall to only 37% of its original value? It starts up, as we saw, at some value V0 over R, and will decay away. So when does it reach 37%? And the time it reaches 37%, of its original value is when we hit the time when t is equal to rc. And if we look at what the units of rc are, we can find that rc has the units of time. So rc is our characteristic time, or what we sometimes will refer to as the time constant for the circuit. It's really just a convenient way for all of us to talk about the same thing and not get confused. You know, we could say it falls to a value of 1 half, it falls to a value of 1 over square root of 2, falls to a value of, in our case, 1 over e. And the one we settled on is 1 over e. Just makes the math easy. And we'll notice that there's also a related value, and that related value is uh, deals with this quantity up here where we get 1 minus e to the minus t over rc. And really, all that's saying is when does the value fall to 63%, uh, or when does this term fall to the, the 0.37. But really, RC is some characteristic value of uh, where we have decided when the, when the quantity falls to essentially 37% of its original, or rose to 63% of its, uh, of its uh, maximum. 